What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing the BAM box for, I was going to say this month, but I guess this is from January because they had some shipping issues, but we finally got it and of course now in a year and a week or two we'll be getting our February BAM box, but I'll just go ahead and do this one. So this, okay, so I didn't know anything about the box, I couldn't remember, but they do put a little flyer and I think it just saw all the stuff there, but a little flyer and it says the two year anniversary and so it says January 2018 and so they're celebrating their two years and stuff and they're switching up some stuff but they still had some issues with this month's box, or this one from January, and hopefully in February they're going to be fixing all that. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So first off, okay, so I know what this is. So first off here we have a coin, and so on the front here um, it says, In God We Trust, and then 1922, Liberty, and it has kind of like the Statue of Liberty's head on it. I don't know how she described that. And then on the back, it's the same thing, but all scratched up. So this is Two Faces coin from Batman, which is awesome because he always has the one side that's normal, and then the scratch up side being for like Two Face and stuff, and then he flips the coin and makes decisions off of that. So that's really cool that we got that because I'm a fan of Batman villains and stuff, and so having a thing for Two Face is awesome. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but if not, we'll find out on the back because they actually have a card in here so we know what stuff is. Uh, next up, this is cool as well, we have a pin, I assume, or no, I was going to say, I assume it's our pin for the month, but it is not. But we have a pendant type thing, and it is from Game of Thrones, and it's the king's hand or whatever you want to call it, um, that the people wear when they're called the hand, I don't know what to, besides the hand, what they're called. Uh, but so it's a logo war, so I know um, Ned Stark war before he got killed, and currently, or not currently, but most recently it was um, uh, Tyrion, Peter Dinklage's character, when he was to his sister, um, he was wearing it. Um, I don't know who wears it now, but that's just the logo, the thing they wear on their like side here to look, um, notate that they are the hand of the king. Type of thing. So that's kind of cool. Usually it sticks through this, but obviously since it's a pin, it just has the pin part that you can stick on there on the back. So that's really cool. It's a cool like, thing to go along if you're a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, next up, we have our pin for the month, and I assume this is Rick from The Walking Dead. Um, I, yeah, it says Walking Dead on the back. So we have Rick's head, and he's all bloody, as you can see there. I don't know if it, it doesn't say anything about exclusives or anything, if that is one, but that looks cool. It looks like Rick. And that's awesome. I like Walking Dead, but that pin kind of weird. Already. Then we've got two pictures. So first up here, we've got a Stranger Things. And so this says that it, uh, it's assigned by someone, I assume, the uh, or artist. And it's 690 out of 2,000. So there's 2,000 versions of this. And so it's got all the Stranger Things kids. So you can see 11 there at the top. Then the police, the mom, and all the kids down there at the bottom. And you can kind of see the creature in the background, the big giant creature from Stranger Things 2 going on there in the background. And so that's a neat painting. Um, I'm not a big fan of Stranger Things. I didn't mind it, but um, that's kind of, I assume, a good picture if you're a big fan of Stranger Things. Oh, there at the very bottom where the signature is, it looks like there's a waffle. Oh yeah, there's a waffle under the signature they kind of wrote over it. And then I like the Demogorgon there at the bottom too. And it has kind of like a little tail going around the waffle there. So like I said, that's kind of a cool picture if you're a fan of Stranger Things. But I'm not that big. Oh, this is cool. Uh, so next up we have, it says, a hand signed picture by Lee Towersy who operates R2-D2 in Star Wars The Last Jedi. So there we have a picture from the burning down Luke's like temple, Jedi temple thing. With down here at the bottom we have Luke right there and then R2-D2 next to him there. And so the guy signed that. So he, as it says, operates C3, or R, sorry, R2-D2 and The Last Jedi. So that's really cool because R2-D2 is one of my favorite characters of Star Wars. So it's cool to have a picture signed by that. So that's really cool. I really like that. So let's go ahead and look at our um, stuff, or our information here. So on the back, we have the picture, or all the stuff. So um, we'll start off with the picture. So it looks like it was a, a bunch of The Last Jedi pictures. And so, of course, we got this picture here and it says, You could have received one of four autograph from someone from The Last Jedi. And so I'll just show all the different pictures out. I don't know if you can see those really well, but all of those different pictures. The Chewie with the Porg would have probably been my favorite out of all to get. Um, but then also this picture here kind of is cool. The like actual poster with all the different signatures on it would have been cool as well. But I don't know if that's a part of them or not. Then next up we have the can of the, the Hand of the King replica from Dark Matter Props. And of course this is 
Um, the king's hand is the most powerful appointed position in seven kingdoms, second only to the king in, author in authority and responsibility. So that was the Game of Thrones hand there. Uh, then we got our Stranger Things picture. It says uh, Bandbox exclusive. Things are getting strange. Fan art collection printed by artist, artist Logan Peck. So that's his signature there down at the bottom. And it looks like you could have got two different pictures. This one or kind of like a grayed out picture. But of course up here it's upside down. Um, but I'll show you the upside down version there. So it's just like the same picture just in a... Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be upside down or you just turn the picture upside down. And then all gray down stuff. Then next up we got the two-faced coin, which of course I really like this a lot. It says the double head coin is two-faced's favorite possession and is a tool that aids in his wep or that aids his weapons of choice making decisions. What will be your decision today? So that is really cool. I like the two-faced prop there. And then we've got our pin for the month. And so it looks like they're all Walking Dead um, pictures here. So, of course, we got the Bloody Rick one. Then there's a lim uh, only 251 of, it looks just like a zombie or something, I don't know. And then there's one of a zombie Carl. as the very limited collection there. So those were the different ones you could have got. So that's cool. And then they have a giveaway. Uh, this must be, says a giveaway of a uh, Batman photograph signed by Christian Bale and head over to the their website to see how to win that. So that'd be kind of cool, but usually I don't like doing their pictures and stuff. So it looks like that's it for the band box. So, bro, what was your favorite item out of this box? Um, I'd probably say the Stranger Things photo or the Harvey Dent coin. Yeah, mine's definitely going to be the Two-Face coin and this picture. I can't decide which one I like more because I like our duty do a lot. And then this coin, I think, is just super cool. It's probably one of the best, like, coin type things we've ever gotten out of a box. Which just... I always thought it was funny, the coin, because the backside that's always messed up, it's always, like, scratched out. Yeah. I don't know if you can and, see that. Very and well. since I'll take his, it over. his name is Harvey Dent, it's Scratch and Dent. Yeah. And so there's what it looks like. It's hard to see with the lighting and stuff, but it's just kind of all messed up and scratched and everything. Which is kind of weird because I've never seen a coin that has the same picture on both sides. And then just he scratched out one side, so I don't understand that. But it's still really cool, and I like that a lot. That is awesome. So that's going to be it for this BAM box this month, or for last month, January. So don't forget, down into the comments below, don't forget to let me know what your favorite item out of the box was. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings, and we'll see you next time.